But you guys can see that we're now in the 350Z. So that means we got it back from Ultimate Motorsports and racing for the Z1 Motorsports Performance Street Clutch Kit installation. You know, a clutch replacement can be a pretty intensive job, uh, especially when you don't have a lift and you're working on your back in the garage and you don't have an extra set of hands. I can't expect my wife and daughter to get out of the car with me and help me out with a clutch replacement. And you know, I just didn't have the time to do it or mess with it. And I, the last thing I wanted was the car to be on jack stands for weeks as I try to tackle this project a little bit at a time. So luckily enough, in the Greenville, South Carolina area, we have a pretty reputable shop known as Ultimate Motorsports and Racing. Uh, Tyler, who you'll meet in this video, uh, is the owner and founder. Nissan and Infinity Specialist has some pretty awesome projects going on for himself and a couple of sponsor cars out there, which is really exciting for, for a, a shop like his as well. So uh, I reached out to him and said, hey, you wanna tackle this project for me? And he was totally into it. So uh, we had it scheduled a couple months out was finally able to get the car to him and he had it done in just a, a matter of a couple of days so uh, really excited to have now established a relationship with ultimate motorsports and racing and it's definitely nice to have a shop local to you that you can trust taking your car to i know that's like a major thing for a lot of car owners and enthusiasts and it's a huge thing for me i hate taking my vehicles to other people you just really can't trust anyone these days so uh, it was nice to know that the car was in good hands in in the few days that he had it uh, and know uh, that he was going to uh, you know take pride in his work and get the job done correctly so uh, had some great feedback uh, and some great information from him but I, you know no more talking no more talking about i'll let i'll let tyler handle it check out uh, some of these clips that we took at ultimate motorsports and racing uh, last night picking up this car uh, and now we're going to uh, get to it and put some miles on this clutch to get this thing broken in So I'm Tyler, I'm the owner of Ultimate Motorsports and Racing. We specialize in Nissans, Cs, Gs, Qs, GTRs if you want, um, but we can work on really anything here. Um, we did a clutch today in Jordan's car, Z1 lightweight flywheel, clutch pack, um, and a new clutch release assembly. Uh, I've put a ton of Z1 clutches in. Um, in fact, the car behind me has a Z1 clutch in it and he beats on the car relentlessly. It holds up great. Um, all of the Z1 clutches that I put in haven't had any issues and they've, they've put up with a ton of abuse, they'd be great. So for the break-in period, um, you're gonna want at least 500 miles. Um, if you drive city, city driving, it can be less, but before that 500 miles, you just wanna be easy on the shifting, don't launch the car, you know, just, just don't beat on it, and be kinda easy on the clutch. After that, give it hell. So this is a six buck, though? Yeah, that's a six buck. That's going into 370 difference between so I got full face mm -hmm. what situation would you recommend that over or would you? race um, race or if you really need the power um, to hold so even still in that in that scenario I'd, I'd try to find a full face South Bend offers an option that holds a ton of power and still drives like stock the reason that puck clutches are referred or preferred rather in a race environment is that the force of the pressure plate and flywheel clamping on these pucks is so great since there's a smaller area you know think PSI pounds per square inch um, and the, the material itself is also different so it holds the power a lot more it grabs much more aggressively much faster clutch engagements which of course is a lot less comfortable in the street sure, makes sense. but for a track car it, it, it makes a lot of sense that's what's in my s13 as well okay and it's it wants to go <laughs> Okay. Anything weird? We get chatter with the lightweight. Yeah, flywheel. so you'll have some chatter, and that's actually input shaft backlash. Um, the CD transes are notorious for it, but it's not an issue. Um, it's exacerbated with a single mass flywheel because you don't have the dampening of full mass. Yeah. But the only difference, as far as driving on the lightweight flywheel, is that your RPMs will drop and rise faster. So between shifts, will be a little bit faster, and when you're engaging you kind of have to give it a little bit more gas because it has less momentum spinning on the motor, sure, sure. but you get used to it real quick. Okay, cool. Yeah, the clutch feel itself will be basically the same. Got it, perfect. I gotta be honest guys, it feels like a totally different car. It's amazing what this new clutch feels like. Golly, I can hear those wheel bearings. It still does engage a little bit close to the floor, but honestly, I don't think it's quite as bad as it was, but the engagement is so smooth with this clutch, it's really unbelievable. Just, it, it's all one fluid motion as you release the pedal and not like uh, kind of a herky-jerky feel like the old clutch. 
notch was. He is right though, like you said in that last clip, you do have to give it a little additional throttle to get it rolling from the stop, just that lightweight flywheel makes a little bit of difference, but it's been very easy to get used to driving already just in the couple of miles that I've gone. But he did say as the clutch starts to wear in a little bit after we go through our break-in period, that pedal is gonna feel, uh, the pedal's gonna feel better and it'll engage slightly higher. I actually like the idea of it engaging a little bit lower uh, than normal because from what I've always heard that 350c pedals seem to the clutches seem to engage really high and that can be kind of weird and I plan on teaching my daughter how to drive clutch in this car drive stick in this car so I want it to be I want it to be a little more user friendly if possible and I so I think I think we're kind of there the clutch feels really good to be quite honest with you in my opinion the only thing that sucks is we got about a 500 mile break-in period now so as you can see we're on mile 12 and a half. Oh my God, it's going to be a nightmare. And I'm glad to have this car back at home and in the garage. Whew, she is dirty. We've got to get her cleaned up. We just got this Z back from Ultimate Motorsports and Racing, UMR. Thank you again to Tyler for uh, the quick work and the good work. The clutch feels really good. I realized that the car may have been a little bit loud to give you some of my initial impressions of the clutch on the way home. Uh, it felt really good, really smooth. Uh, engagement is still a little bit low, a little close to the floor, uh, but I would much prefer engagement be lower than up high. It makes it a little easier to drive in my opinion, uh, but you can definitely feel the difference with that lightweight flywheel. It does, as Tyler said, give, uh, it does require a little bit of a little extra throttle pedaling, a little bit getting used to taking off from a stop, um, but it was easy enough to get used to it. Again, the clutch pedal is super smooth going in and out. Uh, you can feel the clutch grab and the car roll, but we got a, we got a little bit of a break-in period here, about 500 miles. It's going to be brutal. Uh, just um, some stop and go, regular traffic driving, no high revs. Of course, on my way home, uh, somebody in a little BMW with some pops and bangs uh, pulls up next to me and hangs out. And I would love uh, to downshift and get wasted by a BMW, but we got to take care of this clutch. We got to make sure it gets bedded in properly and uh, then then we'll start getting into some ignorant stuff, but I'm super dirty. I really like this car. I like this car a lot. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I gotta get... But you guys heard Tyler say also that he's done a ton of these Z1 clutch kits. Uh, the feedback is always really positive. He hasn't had any problems with him with them as... Uh, as he said, so uh, that's really good news, and I, my first impressions are really positive, but I'm going to get some more in-car uh, footage. We'll do a little bit more testing with this thing. I'll, I'll you know, I want to start putting some miles on it uh, before it goes under the knife again, so uh, we'll get out there. I'm going to cut this short right now, and we'll pick back up uh, probably tomorrow, and we'll, we'll be inside the car and just kind of get some more of my initial impressions, uh, but now that I'm finally back home. All right. <laughs> Sweet dreams, old girl. We're back in the Z, guys, and I gotta say, the new clutch feels really good. I had certain expectations, but I've never driven, uh, never driven on a, a Z1 Motorsports Performance clutch at all, so I to expect. I've had other cars in the past with upgraded, you know, stage one or two or, you know, race specific clutches and various pedal feels from soft to really hard to annoying to drive to really easy to drive. And this one falls under that really easy to drive category. Tyler did warn us that, you know, it might take a little bit of getting used to to get going after uh, stoplights because it's a little bit different than factory, but two stoplights and I feel like I got it down. strong clutch that can handle whatever we throw at it. Now, although 
the clutch pedal still feels a little bit low to the floor when it engages right off the bat, it doesn't feel as low as it was. So that's an improvement. And he said through the Tyler at uh, UMR, through the uh, bedding in process, the pedal will probably start to feel like it engages a little higher up even still. So I think it's going to be great. It's going to be perfect. Guys, I'm really excited to finally get some miles put on this car and on this clutch kit to uh, get it worn in so we can really drive it how it's meant to be driven uh, and really uh, experience and appreciate this vehicle how it's supposed to be appreciated. Uh, we got a few maintenance things to do, of course, but we're going to uh, start increasing performance capabilities of this vehicle as well. Uh, it's going to be a fun little project with the help of Z1, and now I think we've established a pretty good relationship with Tyler at UMR. I'm definitely excited right now. I think we got a good launching point to, to start from with this car. It's hard to find shops that you really trust uh, to take your car to, uh, and finding somebody that specializes in your platform is definitely helpful. So uh, Tyler's a great guy, definitely confident in his skills and abilities, uh, and just being a good person, uh, I feel good. Uh, and like taking my vehicles and just my business to small business and small businesses in the area. So uh, I'm super thankful to have someone that close to me that knows these cars inside and out. Uh, so maybe more things to come uh, with UMR. So excited about that. Um, also, uh, just pumped about this vehicle. I hope you guys will continue following along. Uh, it's going to be a fun project. Uh, some maintenance things to take care of and dial in, and uh, some performance enhancements going to be happening here in the very near future as well we got parts starting to stack up in the garage so uh, let's get to it guys let's get to it thank you guys very much for watching i appreciate the continued support both of this car and the q50 i hope you'll stick around and if you haven't already i hope you'll subscribe to the channel for more thanks for watching as always we'll see you in the next one